The future of the 3D printing industry is at stake. Today we're diving into a significant legal battle that is currently unfolding. A clash between Stratasys, a long-standing leader in industrial 3D printing, and Bamboo Lab, a fast-rising competitor that's been making waves with their innovative consumer-focused printers. We'll explore the patents at the heart of these cases, how Bamboo Lab is allegedly infringing on them, the potential impact on the industry, and why Stratasys might be targeting Bamboo Lab over other companies like Creality or Prusa. This isn't just any legal dispute. It's a battle that could redefine the 3D printing landscape for hobbyists and professionals alike. Now, most of you are no doubt familiar with Bamboo Lab. Despite being a relative newcomer to the industry, they've quickly gained a reputation for producing high-speed, feature-rich 3D printers that offer advanced capabilities at an accessible price point. But you may be less familiar with Stratasys, a company that has been a cornerstone of the 3D printing industry for decades. In fact, they were the original inventors of Fuse Deposition Modeling, or FDM, a technology they patented way back in 1989. This technology forms the backbone of the desktop 3D printers we know and love today. It wasn't until 2009, when the original FDM patent expired, that the consumer 3D printing industry was born, spawning companies like Prusa and Creality, and later Bamboo Lab. Stratasys has long focused on the industrial sector, producing high-end 3D printers used in industries like aerospace, automotive, and healthcare. These machines are known for their precision and reliability, but they come with a hefty price tag, making them a significant investment for any business and completely inaccessible to regular consumers like you and I. Stratasys's dominance in this space has been largely uncontested, until now. With Bamboo Lab offering advanced features at a fraction of the price, their market share is under threat, particularly as more businesses look for cost-effective solutions that don't compromise on quality. In response to this growing competition, Stratasys has taken legal action, filing not one, but two separate lawsuits against Bamboo Lab, accusing them of infringing on several key patents. These lawsuits are more than just a defense of intellectual property. They're a strategic move to protect Stratasys's position in an increasingly competitive market. But Bamboo Lab isn't the only company in their sights. They've also named a lesser known company, TierTime, as a defendant in these lawsuits. TierTime produces the UP series of professional grade 3D printers, as well as the hobbyist focused CDIS printers. This isn't something I've seen mentioned in other reports on this case with most sources indicating that the lawsuit is solely targeting Bamboo Lab. But the inclusion of tier time as a defendant is significant for reasons I'll touch on later. Now let's talk about the primary focus of these separate lawsuits. The first lawsuit focuses on the fundamental technologies that enable fused deposition modeling. Stratasys alleges that Bamboo Lab's printers infringe upon several of its core patents that protect the essential methods and systems used in FDM 3D printing. The main claims in this lawsuit include 1. Extrusion processes. Stratasys claims that Bamboo Lab's 3D printers infringe on patents related to the fundamental methods of extruding materials to build up layers of a 3D printed object. 2. Material management. This includes claims that Bamboo Lab's printers unlawfully utilize methods for handling multiple materials during a single print. This most likely pertains to their automated materials system, or AMS. Three heated build platforms, and coated build surfaces. Stratasys asserts that the heated beds and specialized coatings used on build surfaces in Bamboo Labs printers infringe on their patents. 4. Force detection technology. Stratasys alleges that Bamboo Lab printers infringe on patents related to detecting contact force against a 3D printer's extruder. This likely concerns the sensors present in the A1 series printers that are used to measure the pressure in the nozzle. The second lawsuit shifts focus to more advanced and specialized technologies that enhance the functionality and connectivity of 3D printers. The main claims in this lawsuit include 1. RFID tagged materials. Stratasys claims that Bamboo Lab's use of RFID technology to automatically identify and adjust settings for different materials infringes on their patented methods. This likely concerns the use of RFID tags on Bamboo's filament spools which can be detected by the AMS. Two, networked 3D printing. This includes claims that Bamboo Labs printers unlawfully incorporate features for remote management and networked printing. This likely concerns the connectivity to Bamboo Studio, which receives information from the printer regarding its status. Three, 
3D scanning, and monitoring. Stratasys claims that Bamboo Lab systems infringe on patents related to 3D scanning and monitoring technology, which allows users to capture and monitor the status of a build in real time. This likely concerns the use of a LiDAR scanner for first layer inspection, as well as the inclusion of a chamber camera for remote monitoring. So why is Stratasys going after Bamboo Labs specifically, rather than other well-known companies like Creality or Prusa? There are a few factors at play here. Bamboo Lab has quickly gained a reputation for producing high quality, innovative 3D printers that compete not just on price, but on performance and features as well. Their printers are seen as a significant step forward, offering speeds and capabilities that challenge even some of the more expensive models on the market, including those from Stratasys' industrial lineup. Creality and Prusa, while highly popular and successful, operate primarily in the more traditional consumer markets, offering machines that are accessible and modifiable. Bamboo Lab, on the other hand, seems to be encroaching on the higher end market, with features that overlap more directly with Stratasys' patented technologies. Bamboo Lab's rapid rise and the global appeal of their products might have caught Stratasys' attention as a direct competitive threat. Their ability to combine advanced features with a lower price point potentially disrupts markets that Stratasys has traditionally dominated. This could explain why Stratasys sees Bamboo Lab as a more immediate concern and a company worth litigating against, rather than targeting other players in the consumer space like Creality or Prusa. The fact that Stratasys has filed two separate lawsuits is significant. It suggests that they are pursuing a more targeted legal strategy, focusing on different aspects of their intellectual property. This approach allows them to address different types of alleged infringements separately, potentially increasing the chances of winning at least one of the cases. Another strategic decision they've made is choosing to file these lawsuits in the Eastern District of Texas, a venue known for being particularly favorable to patent holders. The courts here are known for their efficiency, and juries in this district tend to be more sympathetic to plaintiffs, especially in patent cases. By selecting this venue, Stratasys is positioning itself in a court where they have a better chance of securing a favorable outcome. The key strategy for Bamboo's lawyers will likely be to challenge the validity of the patents at the center of these lawsuits. If the lawyers for Bamboo Lab can find prior art, evidence that similar technology existed before Stratasys filed their patents that was missed when the patents were granted, they could argue that the patents should never have been granted in the first place. If this were to happen, the patents may get reduced in scope or invalidated entirely, allowing Bamboo to continue to use the technologies without consequence and dealing a significant blow to Stratasys' patent portfolio. Bamboo's saving grace could come from the least likely of places, Prusa Research, at least in their defense against the claim of infringement on the use of a heated bed. Stratasys first filed to patent this technology in 2013. The patent was granted four years later in 2017. In the meantime, in 2016, Prusa released the i3 Mark II, the first of its printers to use a heated bed. If knowledge of the heated bed predates Stratasys' filing, this could serve as prior art to invalidate the patent. In fact, looking back even further, there is evidence that the RepRap Mendel was outfitted with a heated bed by some early 3D printing enthusiasts, therefore meaning that the novelty claim, a key element to any patent, is void. But of course, this is all just conjecture. I'm an engineer, not a lawyer, so take this information with a grain of salt. If Stratasys succeeds in their lawsuit, they could secure a preliminary injunction stopping Bamboo Lab from selling their printers in the US, at least while the case is ongoing. This would be a significant setback for Bamboo Lab in a crucial market. A permanent injunction could follow, forcing Bamboo Lab to redesign their products or pay substantial licensing fees to Stratasys. In this event, there is a possibility that the cost will be passed on to consumers, making future Bamboo Lab products more expensive as a result. Even if Stratasys wins the suit in the United States, Enforcing any court rulings internationally presents another challenge. Bamboo Lab is based in China, where US patents generally hold no authority unless equivalent patents have been granted there. Bamboo could therefore continue to sell the infringing products to an international market without paying Stratasys a licensing fee. They just wouldn't be able to sell to the American market. It's worth noting that Bamboo Lab is no stranger to patents themselves. In the short time since their inception, they have filed numerous patents covering multiple aspects of their hardware and software implementations. This proactive approach to securing intellectual property sets Bamboo Lab apart from other players in the industry, such as Prusa Research, which has famously shunned patents in favor of keeping their designs open source. 
Prusa's commitment to the open source community has fostered widespread collaboration and innovation. But it also means they rely on community goodwill rather than legal protections to maintain their competitive edge. This isn't the first lawsuit Stratasys has filed. They have a long track record of aggressively defending their patents, which has been a key part of their strategy to maintain their dominance in the 3D printing industry. In 2013, Stratasys filed a lawsuit against Afenia, a company that was producing desktop 3D printers. Stratasys accused Afenia of infringing on four of their patents, which covered technologies related to temperature control, build material bonding, and material extrusion methods core aspects of FDM 3D printing. What's interesting about this is Afenia's relation to a defendant in the current suit. Not Bamboo Lab, but TierTime. At the time of the original suit, Afenia had licensed technology from TierTime for use in their H-series printers. But rather than sue TierTime directly, which is more difficult given that they are a Chinese company, Stratasys sued the US-based Afenia, who was licensing the infringing technology from TierTime. This lawsuit was settled out of court. More than 10 years later, Stratasys is back on the offensive, this time targeting tier time directly. This legal battle is happening at a time when Stratasys is facing significant challenges. While they remain a leader in the 3D printing industry, particularly in the industrial sector, the market has become increasingly competitive. Companies like Bamboo Lab are introducing high quality, lower cost alternatives that appeal to both consumers and small businesses. Stratasys' industrial machines are now competing not just with other industrial manufacturers, but also with the growing capabilities of more affordable desktop 3D printers. So what's next? We'll have to keep a close eye on how these lawsuits play out. But one thing's for sure. This case could have major ramifications for the 3D printing industry. But I'd love to know what you think about this whole situation. So please be sure to let me know by leaving a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this video, which is quite different than what I normally do. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. My name's Taylor, this is YGK3D, and until next time, happy 3D printing.